Hello, you're watching Kel67 Gaming, and we are back again with another Generation Challenge, where myself and Aiden play each other at different uh, genres of video game, different across different generations. And we are playing. Sports. We are playing sports. And... It is 1-2. And? I'm winning. Is that where we are? Yes, it is 1-0. No, I'm winning. So it's been a couple of weeks. Remind us, what did you win at? I won at Hustle Kings, um, which is obviously a pool game. So, yeah. And who picked that one? I did, so you so guys choose me. this one. I have to say that the sport that we're going to play this time is golf. Right. To clear up, I've never played a golf game. And the game that we're going to play is Rory McIlroy, PGA Tour. This is for the Xbox One, isn't it? It is for the Xbox One. And I've further decided that we're going to play at St Andrews. We're going to play the back nine. So, who are you going to be? I'm going to be playing as Hen... Oh, I can't remember his name. Henrik Stenson, yes. you bet. Um, I'm going to be playing as Dustin Johnson. So, you know who we're going to be, where we're going to be. So we'll play the back nine. Um, this is stroke play, so it's just, we're not playing per hole. Uh, we'll see who who wins, um, and it'll either be two 0 or one one. This is EA Sports PGA Tour coverage coming up next. Frank, amazing. They've been playing golf on these hallowed lynx lands since the 15th century. And hopefully they'll play for many and more a year because every great player that's ever played this game has walked over Swalkin Bridge. Now at the 10th, and Bobby Jones loved this hole, didn't he? And that's why it's been uh, renamed Bobby Jones. Drivable for a lot of the players, but if you're going to have a crack at this green, avoid the gorse down the left side, as well as the two pot bunkers that he's loading up on it. Look at the coil there. Looks to be putting everything into this one. Just destroyed it. Well, they claim it's a reachable par four. We haven't seen a whole lot of people do it today. We just saw it right there. Well done. I'm loving that balance. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Second shot. Pretty long putt right here. You'd be happy to get it to within two, three feet. Pretty good stroke right there. Just hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Now it's that sneaky distance. You'd like that one again. Made a good run at birdie. He'll have to focus now. Try to walk away with the par. And getting ready for the putt. Oh. 
has the putt, and now at minus one. Just a little tap in here. Stenson has this for par. Frank, what are we looking at here at the famed par 3 11th at the old course? Well, the most difficult, there is only two par 3s here at the old course, and this one's called high elevated green, and you've got to fly that bunker that protects the front of the green. That's called the Strath Bunker. Uh, you really take anything on this green. You make a two hit, you'll make a move on the field. This is a good looking shot. That will be a great look at birdie. And this one just seems to be moving a little left in the air. Not too bad. Not enough on that one. Yeah, it just seemed to baby it. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Really no chance to go in there. Still even par for the day. Has his par. Frank, how do you like the 12th hole here at St. Andrews? Well, it's a beautiful par four. You start to see the, uh, the village of St. Andrews in the background, Eden Estuary to the right, and also decision time. If you're long enough, it's certainly worth having a crack at this par four with your tee shot. But if you're not a long hitter, then you've really got to worry about those four beautifully and well strategic bu uh, position bunkers in the middle of the fairway. I like the looks of this one. Big swing right there, a great result, and now a chance for a big swing in momentum with an eagle coming up. Look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is this is going, going, gone. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. That was not a very good read right there. Now he has this for the birdie. Nope, didn't get it, didn't hit it. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Oh, how did that mess? Are you kidding me? I mean, that one was dead center. Yeah, 
well hold now to three under par. And a tough hole. Henrik now for bogey. Now to the par 4, 13th, and again, Frank, it's all about avoiding the bunkers. Yeah, another hole that forces you to go either right or left of something that you can see. Uh, the two bunkers called the coffins right up ahead. You can also go beyond those, and if you do, then you've got a much shorter shot in, but uh, you've got to avoid those fairway bunkers. They are very costly. We moved that one out there, but he is not going to like the lie. Uh, that moved down in the rough. To the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Pretty try up next. He'll need to be strong with this. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Just want to nestle this one down to within a couple of feet. Always two components to the long lag putt, the speed, number one, and then the read, and missed out on that second part. Birdie chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. Oh, and it's good. What an amazing putt. And a tester from four feet. Just trying to keep this round on track. Has that putt, stays at one over. Frank, what are we looking at here at the big par 514? Out of bounds on the right, and those little series of pop bunkers called the beaties. Now, if you get in trouble here, you can bail out with your second shot down the left, which is the fourth fairway. That's uh, one other option of playing this par five. But a good tee shot, and you can certainly go at this for two. Tell you, there's long and long, and, and that, with a little bit of breeze behind, it's long. He rode the wind there to payday. He's going to have a good look coming up. This is all feel with a lob wedge. Oh, get down. Look out. It's over. The green. 
Well, it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? And he steps up to take this shot from the fairway. This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in his mood today. Yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. Well, couldn't have done much better than that, and the eagle is looking very likely now. Settles in over the putt. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Henrik lining this one up, and it's for birdie. Frank, one of the things I always loved about Lynx golf is that you're not aiming at a flagstick or a tree, but sometimes you're aiming for a steeple in the distance, and this is a good example here at the 15th. Yeah, the church steeple is exa the exact line off the tee. That gives you sort of the center of the fairway. Um, really, you don't have to be overly bold off the tee. This is about just finding a nice flat lie for that second shot. This is another difficult green that's well protected by just one little bunker that's in the front left that you don't think comes into play, but if your second shot doesn't land the right distance, more often than not, it just gets swallowed up by that. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Strong wind here early in the round. How do you think this is going to affect the players, Frank? Well, they've got to be clever on a club selection and the type of shot they want to hit now. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Trying to control the ball flight here from 105 yards with a wind coming from behind. Good swing, good shot yet again. I want to check the GPS on a putt this long. Well, that's not the way you wanted to start out the backside here. Yeah, you can't afford from uh, inside 10 feet. It just, you feel like you have to make those. And um, I mean, they really sting when they miss. It's no snack though. Tough game, Frank. You can hit 300-yard drives and miss three-foot putts. Yeah, there's the ecstasy, and that's the agony. And getting ready for the putt. In for par. Could use this one. This is for par. Well, you can see it there. Feels very good about what he's doing. That's a nice par putt. Stays at six under. Headed for home now, partner, the 16th hole, and what are we looking at here? Well, you have to avoid the principal's nose, otherwise you're going to finish up in the principal's office. I'm loving that balance. That is tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a line like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there.
Oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power? To... Just amazing what they're able to do with that golf swing. Hit it so far at that size. Not overly big, but man, can really move it a long way. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Chance to get it close here. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. Even par currently. Good try, just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. Stenson for his par. Clean this up with a tap. How about seven under par now? Frank, so many famous landmarks on this hole. The hotel on the right, you want to avoid that. The bunker on the left, and then the stone wall beyond the road. Yeah, there's um, all those features is one of the reasons why no one would be allowed to design a hole like this today. It also makes it not only unique, but uh, I, I think that's the greatness of the hole is that all those problems you're very aware of, it's just can you avoid them. Oh, that was sweet. Straight down the middle. Second shot, good look at the green. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance really for uh, for birdie, but um, really it was a, a rather poor approach shot. 115 yards. Rich, I remember when I first played the old course. It was the Dunhill Cup. It was a team event. It was three players from each country around the world, and um, my teammates were uh, Stuart Jen and Bob Charles, who'd won the Open Championship. And I remember pestering Bob Charles all the way around the golf course, the old course, where do I aim, do I get away from a bunker, and, and um, at the time I thought he was a bit of a curmudgeon really, because the only thing he told me was not to hit it inside the TV tower on 17, and then I realised he gave me the greatest golf lesson I ever had, because he was telling me to play the golf course the way I felt I should. A lesson well learned, play your own game. Play with your instincts, especially at a place like the old course at St. Andrews, where, where you don't necessarily play by the book. I don't know if there is a book to get you around St. Andrews, except the best book of all, and that's the one of experience. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Pretty good stroke right there, just hit it through the break. 
Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Locked in on the read and the speed. Man, that was dead in the center and just a little bit short. That's disappointing. Really? This is an awkward length. Never a doubt looking to make a statement today. Eight foot putt here. Just like that, with a bogey, goes from level par to one over. Frank, here at the 18th, so much history has been made through the years. Yeah, one of my uh, favorite memories, um, I remember, you know, Jack Nicklaus when he beat Doug Sanders in that playoff. Um, you know, the famous sort of short putt that Doug Sanders missed. But really, the great moment that stands out was Seve, making that 15-footer across the hill in 1984, wearing the blue sweater. Not only did he win the Open Championship, but he beat a tremendous field that included Bernard Langer, Tom Watson, Fred Couples, Lanny Watkins, Faldo, and Greg Norman. It was an amazing Open Championship. And I love that fist pump. It was pure Seve. All that fire, all that passion came flying out. And that's where you just sort of fell in love with it. Come on, that's not even human. That's ridiculous. That is 350 plus yards. Slight waggle, relaxed arms, ready to go. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Well, that was a good looking putt, just not falling right now. Well, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Now eight under on the day. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Workman like hole, he walks away with a par. Well, Frank, how do you begin to sum up what we've seen at the birthplace of golf today? The course, the scenery, the weather, the play. It was really all vintage St. Andrews. Absolute pleasure to play the old course once again, Rich. Uh, you can see how technology might have changed it. There's a few more par fours that are reachable these days for the longer hitters. But still, it's a great uh, memory of where golf started, where it is now, and where it's going to be. And with that, for my colleague Frank Nabolo, I'm Rich Lerner for EA Sports saying so long from Scotland. Well, close match. There's no shame and going around in one over par but today it wasn't quite good enough I'm afraid no. which means that the score is now all level at one one it certainly is so it's going to be you to choose the next sporting challenge yes uh, so you better start thinking about that see what you want to do but of course that is for next time which means in the meantime, if you haven't already, give us a like, a share, and a subscribe, and turn the notification bell so you get notified on when we upload. And we will see you in the next video.